going on, everybody? It's Frank and Gina, fun with Fina. Chili time. Chili time with flyexpectations.com. And today, we have some leftovers in our fridge, so we're gonna create like a smorgasbord or one big meal. So what do you usually do when you're creating uh, empty the fridge meal? We decided we wanna do a chili. So it, how, what are we gonna use for our chili? Well, we're emptying the pantry. We had some walnuts. This is our first time using walnut as a meat substitute. So we're gonna insert some clips of us taking the walnuts, chopping them in our little chopper, just a couple of pulses, just to get sort of like, <coughs> excuse me, the ground meat. The good. seasoning is, is bright in here. Okay, so we already have it in the pan, along with about a handful of diced onion. I wasn't gonna put the onion in first, I like raw onion on the top of my chili. Right. But I, I use you some to season meat the meat. It tastes like meat already. I just tried some, it's in the pan, cooking. And we didn't have any pinto beans because we've been using the heck out of those. Uh, if you are in Texas, you might be saying pinto beans in your chili because here in Texas, they just use meat in chili and they think beans in the chili uh, is an aberration. Right. Yes, yeah, I know. Well, we're from the Midwest, and we have we beans like our in our beans, chilies. Red beans, usually. Right, but we didn't have any of those. Kidney you know beans. what we're using? What? Northern beans. Yeah. So I just strained some uh, white beans, like navy beans and northern beans. Just uh, rinsed them off really quick. I'm going to add them now to the meat mixture, mm -hmm. because what we did was take the walnuts, pull some, season them really well, because that's why we're coughing and sneezing and stuff, but it's going to be good and used a little bit of water mm -hmm. and um, then added the onion. It looks like ground meat. I, I'm so excited to try it. Now I'm gonna put the beans in. This is how I would normally do a meat chili. Okay. If I, I would put the beans in and season those two. Okay. So it's layer after layer of seasoning. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be chili without some- Red sauce, some tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. So we have a big can of crushed tomatoes. And what is this thing? So we got our chili starter. So basically it's like a base of spices, rules. So this one is tomatoes, water, green chilies, tomato paste, spiced onion, salt, um, pepper sauce, jalapenos and pepper. So it's real spicy. So we like heat in our food. So we got a real spicy mix. So what we add this in to make some of the uh, chili sauce and then we'll tone it down a little bit with a little bit of this tomato sauce. And then season it to our likings with some ground cumin for our meat. And she's over here. Uh, so we just wanted to excite, let you guys know how excited we are for this new meal that we created. What it's looking like, it smells really good. We'll put some of the recipe, put the recipe down below. And uh, check out our new New decade, new mindset uh, t shirts. Right. We got some hoodies now. We'll have some hats. And then we also have our Too Black, Too Strong initiative going on. So we should celebrate and admonish and empower our people to celebrate Black History, not just for Black History Month, right. but Black History 365 days a year. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And you know, I'm in vacation mode. So you see me over here in my yeah. workouts. I just got finished with my workout, by the way. I'm a little off kilter because I was out with the kids mm -hmm. earlier today. They kind of took me out of my element. And I needed to get you my workout in. Time. Yes, we had a good time. We ended up going to their favorite place to eat, which I, I had some problems trying to think of the menu. You had a mushroom burger? Uh, yes. And I, I, We'll talk about that later. I'll give my critiques of all the restaurants. I think we should do that. Yes. Like a critique of all the chains and their vegan options. You know what? I'm so the grateful for look. fries. Uh, save, the day. save the day. Fries, save the day. Which is why I had to get my five miles in too because woo. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying to get fly for my birthday. It's coming up on April 2nd for hey. y'all. I mean, I know it's only like January, but you away. know what? No. Like work. It's like 80 days away. It, it goes like that. It gives me something to look forward to. So we're keeping it light for dinner mm -hmm. um, with the chili. We have some rice in there that we could uh, heat up. Uh, my baby likes 
They have bread, nice he carbs. He, you know, has to have it. bread for a dollar <laughs> at Walmart. Right. This is the best dollar you would spend besides when you're not vegan. I used to love McChicken. So McChicken and apple pie <laughs> was the best dollars that I could spend prior to being That's a vegan. the best dollar you could spend, baby. Yes. And so now it's uh, bagels. So at uh, HEB, they got bagels for like $1.45, everything oh, bagels. And then at Walmart, they got HEB, I mean, they got the everything bread, fresh uh, French loaf. For just a dollar. Best dollar you spend. Best dollar, right? Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> we'll come back to you with the finished product of what the chili turned out to look like. And have a nice day. And give you an honest assessment of its taste. Yes. If we messed up, she'll let you know. Because if she know. won't eat it, I'll end up eating it. Because eat I'm it. the garbage disposal. That's right. right. Whatever she doesn't like, <laughs> I end up eating it. <laughs> it's gross. So we got the walnut meatless meat. Ground. It's just walnut crushed with some seasoning, water, and onion. We'll get, come back to you with the finished product. So the chili starter sauce is kind of thick when you mix it with the tomato sauce, but it's gonna go in really nice when it's the finished copy. She likes it like devil or hell hot. Yes. I like it to be like a little lukewarm. I don't want to. I want to have the ability to taste. The rest <laughs> it's pretty of the hot. You can see the smoke <laughs> coming off of it, but we put some go veggies and some uh, chopped onion on top. Made it real Midwest style. By the way, we started uh, cooking the walnuts. Before, before we soak them. So what you're supposed to do is chop them up and then soak them for about 20 minutes before you start heating them up and seasoning them. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that. So we since we skipped that step, one of the great things about making a chili is that once it sits, all, all of the walnut should absorb their moisture. I like it a little though. I like it a crunch. Else, can you describe the taste? Um, it's spicy. It's uh, good creamy. It's because the cheese, the onion is a good sour combination. And then we got this golden brown toast. Toast. This is my favorite part because if you dip it in, you can dip it in. I don't know y'all, but when I was younger, I used to love the grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup. Oh right. So this could do that. And this is kind of tomato base. Warning: This is not Texas chili because it's got the tomato base. That chili starter is delicious mm -hmm. from Tabasco. So highly recommend. You can pick that up at the grocery store. It's a chili starter. You're supposed to add water. We added crushed tomato. I like it. And I like uh, the taste of it a lot. It's good for a rainy day, mm -hmm. which it'll probably be rainy tomorrow. You can take it to lunch. So we're good. You got our chili now. We're, we're still going and trying to select dates for our vision board. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe. Saturday might be Sunday or sometime next week due to like our busy schedule. Yeah, we have a networking event on Saturday. <laughs> so if you're in the Houston area, make sure you step out at the Handshakes and Headshots over at the Shrine of Black Madonna. That way you can get free headshots and meet some of your local entrepreneurs or if you're interested in any of the products, 
you'll be able to go there and see some of the new fresh peach. And with that, what you gotta do? Keep it flat. Keep it flat. So it's flat.